What I'm going to show you here is a, a demo based on, a, on an application that we have um, that we have developed. We call it the, the Plasma Cube. So this phone here is an HTC Magic with uh, the standard virtual machine on it, so the standard Dalvik. And this one um, has the Dalvik Turbo from Myriad. So if I launch the Cube here and here, you will see immediately that um, the speed of rotation of this cube, this 3D cube on the screen is much faster. So we, we are up to 50 frames per second here, whereas here we are uh, uh, below 27. What we've done for this demo to, um, to, be, um, to demonstrate the capability of our product um, is we, we built this uh, cube that we are uh, rotating uh, in 3D and to add uh, to the complexity of the algorithm, we've put a pattern on it that also is modified for every degrees that the cube turns. So this is very um, intensive on, on the CPU and you can see the results already. What does it mean for the developers? It means that now if you want to create a um, complex game with a lot of uh, 3D animation, you can use Dalvik and you don't have to do it uh, natively. So um, if you think about the, the phone market today, a lot of games are available in uh, uh, Java because uh, most of the feature phone today have a Java virtual machine. Mm -hmm. We enable all those developers to now bring this knowledge, their knowledge of Java, into Dalvik and build some uh, exciting application.